Right, so we have uh, seen how to take through the command line, uh, I mean we have seen how to take input through the command line in Python and uh, we'll, now s we'll now be seeing how to take an input through, I mean during the execution of a Python program or during the runtime of a Python program. So let's go ahead and let me create a new file and let me save it as, uh, as let's say runtime input.py. Right, so in case of Java, if you have watched the Java tutorial, you, you have seen that we have actually imported a scanner class from the java.util package in order to take the input uh, during the runtime of a program. But here in case of Python, no import is actually required here. So all we need to do is use the statement input. So input is a Python reserved statement which, uh, which you know, tells the Python compiler to take the input to block the program just like how we did in Java we have actually you know the the input statement actually blocks the program until the user types an input so in the same way Python program also has this input function which actually blocks the, uh, the program blocks the execution of the program and waits for the user to give the input and only after the user gives the input the program execution will be resumed right so let me go ahead and take an input right here so let's say I want to uh, take an input and store it in a variable named a so I'll say or I'll say INP right INP is just like I don't know like input so INP equal to and you need to use the input function which is input and open and close parenthesis and inside this open and close parenthesis you can actually display or you can print a string which you want to which you want to display right for example I'll say enter enter your input right so yeah that's it that's pretty much it and now we'll just print out the input we'll say print and say your input is and then I'll print out INP and also we'll also see uh, the type of the input which we are uh, giving so I'll say your input type is and I'll just print out the data type of, uh, of the input right so I'll say type of input right now let's go ahead and let's uh, let's run this program python runtime input dot pi so there we go uh, it first prints enter your input and then it blocks the program it waits until you give uh, input to the program so I'll say uh, Tejas Varup my name I don't know uh, and there we go it says your input is Tejas Varup and the input type is a string type in the same way let's go ahead and run the program and this time let's give uh, integer let's say 8 and it says your input is 8 and once again your input type sorry your input type it says string so one thing we can conclude from this is uh, whatever input the user gives actually it, it gets stored as a string data type right so you have to you have to actually convert this uh, this input to the data type you wish for example if you're performing an addition as I've told you and you want obviously an integer type uh, value but uh, when the user gives a value you know it's going to it's going to be stored as a string it's not an integer by default so you have to explicitly convert it into an integer and only then you can you know perform stuff you can do with integers so in order to actually convert it into an integer you obviously as you know you can use int and open close open and close parenthesis in Python so I'll just enclose all the statement within that uh, int so I'll say int and open parenthesis and close parenthesis. So in this way I can actually, I am actually converting whatever input I'm getting from the user into an integer data type. So I'll just go ahead and look at it and let's see if it works. So I'm gonna give 8 once again and this time you can see the input type is int. Right, so we have uh, successfully taken the input from the user and we have converted it into an integer data type so you can convert it into uh, I don't know like a float as well so I'll just say float and we'll just see we'll just see if it works so 8.9 right there you go 8.9 uh, it's in the float data type right so that's how you take input during the runtime of a program and that's how you convert your input because uh, whatever the input is given by the user it's going to be stored as a string data type and you have to convert it into the data type you wish and uh, yeah you can convert it pretty easily in Python you know by just uh, doing stuff like this just like what I've done here so yeah that's all about uh, taking input during the runtime of uh, a Python program and a side note here if you are on if you are using python 2.7 you might have to use uh, another function 
not input but you have to say raw underscore input so if you're on python 2.7 uh, don't uh, forget to use raw underscore input inst instead of input right here but if you're on python 3 uh, version then you uh, i mean raw underscore input is removed from python 3 version so you cannot use the raw underscore input function so you'll have to use the input function but on python 2.7 you have to use raw underscore input